the instinctual malicious compliance brain. If you don't want me to help you and you want me to break policy and you try to manipulate me, I'm gonna pull an UNO reverse on you because I happen to have the brain of a bionic raccoon. I once worked at a blue store where we had a very complicated rewards program that near the end of my employment changed the whole system in a very similar but subtly different in a different way. And a new marketing strategy that the customers were not appreciative of. Now a little fun fact first. I have ASD so my brain can have the naive logic of a little computer sometimes and I don't mean to be mean to people until they start hassling me. It's mostly when I tell them that according to policy, rigidity of thought and black and white rules. Check. I could not perform the action that they were requesting. So they would inevitably, over the course of the conversation, debate, have a light bulb moment and think they have just realized a clever little way around the policy. For example, retroactively applying rewards points can't be done. Sorry. So they go, oh, well, let me return it then. And I can tell by the look on their face that they think they're being sneaky and boy are they about to one-up this dumb cashier. I know full well what they intend to do. And that turns my well-meaning but strict naivety into malicious compliance because that's not a nice thing to do. And I'm nice to nice people. But if they're not nice, I am aware of a subsection of the policy that denies them this as an actual loophole and I of course have all the day's sale prices more or less memorized because I'm getting no more mental stimulation than that at this job. And I know that when they rebuy it, it'll take days for the rewards to return to their account. And I could tell them that today's sale price is higher than what they bought it for. And due to a quirk in the system, oh boy. When they ask me to rearing it, it'll ring up as today's higher price automatically. And no sir, I do not have the ability or function in the POS to backdate it to the sale price without flagging the transaction in the system and getting me in trouble. I could tell him that, but he hasn't said anything about repurchasing it yet. Unaware that I've pattern matched this exact conversation a million times. And he thinks he's going to pull an UNO reverse on me because I'm obviously thick as a brick wall. So I stay silent the way he is. And when he grins and says, okay, I'd like to repurchase these now. Don't forget my rewards points. I smile and go, yes sir. No problem sir. And I rearing him. Sometimes they notice the total has gone up and they begin the frustrated toddler yelling. Immediately. Dot and sometimes they are so drunk in their perceived victory over this dumb little soft-voiced girl that they swipe their card, go through our complicated rewards and credit card lookup process. Because of course they don't have the card with them. Which is frustrating because it adds 10 minutes to a transaction. And get their receipt and leave high on their fantastic win and they don't come back and start yelling and waving arms until they've gotten home and checked their receipt. Hmm. Oh God. I am a terror. No wonder my co-workers either loved me or hated me. Where did you get the brain of a bionic raccoon and where do you keep it? Because I happen to have the brain of a bionic raccoon rocket? I have Asperger's. I have a rather sarcastic trait, but yet I'm absolutely naive on first contact. Even at 40 plus years old, if you wrong me on our first interaction, I'll never forget. If you don't wrong me on our first interaction, I'll never forget either. In the words of my late stepfather, let them wallow in their own ignorance. I happen to have the brain of a bionic raccoon. You had me at this statement. I loved it. My mind jumps to Guardians of the Galaxy's Rocket Raccoon he. That raccoon ain't no dummy. Upvote right then. BTW. I hear ya with the naive logic of a little computer. Because it's a pattern that a person or computer is used to. Any deviation. Naive or otherwise. 
results in bad juju. How do I know? I'm ADHD. ADHD and ASD share many of the same symptoms. We both work better with schedules. Things have to stay the same. Any variations to our schedule. We react in ways that either make us go inward negatively or react inappropriately outwardly. Even though I was and still am ADHD, I stimmed until just before high school. My brain can have the naive logic of a little computer sometimes. I feel you on that. I've pattern matched this exact conversation a million times. And that brain of a bionic raccoon is hilarious. They always think they're the first to figure out that water is wet. ADHD brain here. I can smell these interactions as soon as these people enter the building. By the time they've actually started talking to me I've reached the end of my mental interactions. With clients flowchart and I'm already over this interaction. People have told me, mostly clients on the other side of these situations, that I come across as uncaring. But truthfully, these kinds of interactions are super predictable and I just get bored too easily. Like, I know how the conversation is going to go. I'm impatient and want to get it over with because I have better things to do and my energy is better spent on other things. Like figuring out why putting on the Ritz has been stuck in my head for four days now. Love the higher price aspect of this MC. Reminds me of one I saw right in front of me at the checkout. Someone was trying the return and repurchase routine. But after the refund was processed and they stated that they wanted to repurchase at the newer lower price i'm sorry sir but it appears that these items are on back order and your returns are now allocated to another customer you can reorder them but if you pay upon pickup after the promotion ends then they will be full price dude paid like 10 percent off just before a 25 percent off one day special so the customer gets screwed by the change in policy. And then you screw them again by not telling them their plan will not help them? I don't think corporate blue store winning twice and regular customer losing twice is in the spirit of this sub, unless I misunderstood your post. I like the way you write. I think a book written by your brain would be super fun to read. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.